All right, guys, we're on uh, section 3.3 of your student journal. That's page 84. Uh, graphing ax squared plus bx plus c. How can you find the vertex of the graph? Uh, sketch the graphs first. So let's go there. You know, work with a partner. Use your phone or the Chromebook or whatever, um, or a graphing calculator. And we're going to graph 2x squared minus 8x and 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. So 2x squared minus 8x, uh, let's go here. It has a couple identifying features. The x-intercepts right there. And here we have the vertex. So it's 0, 0, 4, 0, and 2, negative 8. So when I draw it here, uh, 0, 0, 4, 0, 2, negative 8. <clears throat> um, by hand, I could sketch this a little bit better. Um, on computer, it's going to look crappy because I don't, know, I don't have really good uh, control over the mouse. Here should look a little <clears throat> smoother than that, you know, like like this. Um, it's just it's very hard for me to do. Oh, OK, well, there's that. OK. And then the other one is 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And on Desmos, you can you know move around, move the screen around, so make sure you uh, do that if you need to. 1, 0, 3, 0, and let's see, 1. If, this is counting by 2, so this would be 1, 0, this would be 3, 0, and this would be 2, negative 2. <clears throat> the next question says, uh, what do you notice about the x-coordinate of the vertex of each graph? So before we can find the, the x-coordinate, we have to you know, find the vertex first. So the vertex is here. As a reminder, the vertex is the lowest or the highest point in a graph. So that's the vertex. These are the lowest points. If it was facing downwards, then the vertex would be, you know, up here. Uh, what are the vert vertices? Uh, this is 2, negative 8. And this is 2, negative 2. And what do you guys notice about the x coordinates? I'll pause, you can look at it. Oh, well, they are. What are they? They are both two. They are the same. So you would write something like that down. The x-coordinates of both vertices are the same. Great. Um, now we can move on. Use the graph of... Oops, I should not have done that. Use the graph of to find its x-intercepts. 2x squared minus 8x, which is this one. So if I look at the graph on my left, I'm looking for the x-intercepts. What does x-intercept mean? It's just right here, where it crosses the x-axis. And so the x-intercepts are at 0 and 4. And 4. Okay. Um, verify your answer by solving. So by using factoring, 0 equals, what can we factor from 2x squared and 8x? We can factor 2x, x minus 4. So I can pause here and just ask you guys, we have two things being multiplied, one here and the other there, and they equal 0. So what do you know about one of them? One of them has to equal zero. So you could say, or then the follow-up question is, does it matter which one? And the answer is no. So you could say 2x equals zero, and then x minus 4 equals zero. And if we try to get x, if we solve for x, then you add 4, and we get x equals 4. And you divide by 2, 
divide by 2 and you get x equals 0 which is just like what our graph had said um, compare the value of the x coordinate of the vertex so I know uh, your guys reading comprehension could use a little work so let's think about this question it says the value of the x coordinate of the vertex what was the vertex okay we already answered it in part B it was 2 negative 8 with the values of the x-intercepts. What are the values of the x-intercepts? We just found them. They are x equals 0 and 4. I know my, my handwriting is just atrocious, but that's supposed to be a 0. There. Um, and compare it. What is 2 compared to 0 and 4? Then you might say something like 2 is between in the middle of 0 and 4 or the x coordinate of the vertex is in the middle of the x intercepts I said the same thing two different ways in the hopes that you understood at least one of them okay so this actually makes sense uh, the reasoning behind this or to kind of just shed some more light on this, the vertex is right in the middle of the x-intercepts. And why is that? Well, because the vertex is actually in the middle of the whole graph, right? Parabolas are symmetric, and the vertex, or the axis, the vertex, which is on the axis of symmetry, cuts it in half, basically. Um, solve by factoring. I just moved on to the next page. Again, we're going to do the same thing that we did here. What can we factor from ax squared plus bx? That is an x. So we have ax plus b. So x times ax is ax squared, and x times b is bx. So uh, we are confronted with the same uh, concept. Two things multiplying together to make 0. Then one of them equals 0. And it could be either one. So we would solve for x in both of these. Um, x is already by itself, so we don't have to worry about that. You solve for x here by getting rid of the uh, b and the a using your inverse operations. So we're adding b. How do we get rid of it? Subtract. 0 minus b is negative b. And what is happening, or what is a doing to x? a is multiplying. So how do we... How do we... Uh, you know, what is the inverse operation of multiplication? If you go ahead and divide, if you go ahead and divide, you get x equals negative b over a. And uh, it says complete the table to verify your answer, so you would substitute 0 and substitute negative b over a and solve it um, to verify that y does equal 0. For the sake of the uh, length of the video, I'll just tell you that yes, when you verify, it does work out to be zero. Uh, work with a partner, complete the following logical argument. The x-intercepts of the graph are uh, ax squared, or when the, when the graph is y equals ax squared plus bx, are zero and negative b over a. We just found that. Zero, negative b over a. The vertices of the graphs uh, y equals ax squared plus bx and y equals, uh, so the vertex of the graph, sorry, I skipped over. Uh, the vertex of the graph here, when the x-intercepts are here, where is the vertex? The vertex is right in the middle of the uh, vertices, right? Or sorry, of the, uh, the vertex is right in the middle of the x-intercepts. So how do we find that? How do we find what's in the middle of these? Earlier we had 2 is between 0 and 4. And to get the middle of two numbers, or the average, uh, you could just add them and divide by 2. So 0 plus 4 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. We can use that here as well. 
What is between 0 and negative b over a? We could add them together. Plus 0 plus negative b over a. Divide it by 2. Uh, 0 plus anything is that thing. So negative b over a. Divide it by 2. Um, if we're still dividing, that's like multiplying by the uh, reciprocal. So dividing by 2 is like multiplying by 1 half. So you have negative b over a times 2, which is 2a. And since the vertices, uh, like you answered on, um, on the last page, on part b for 2, negative 2, and 2, negative 8, um, they have the same x-coordinate. So if the x-coordinate here is negative b over 2a, then the x-coordinate over here will also be negative b over 2a. OK. Um, so how can you find the vertex of the graph? Well, you have an x-coordinate. So you can use, let's see. Use the formula x equals negative b divided by 2a to find the x-coordinate. And once you have the x-coordinate, then what else do you need to have a point? You need an x and a y, or in this case, an f of x. So uh, to con continue this text, to find the x-coordinate, and then And then substitute the x coordinate to find uh, the y or f of x. Without graphing, find the vertex. Let's see. So, this is our example that we will use uh, of this procedure pretty much. So, a is the number in front of x squared or in this case, 1. b is the number in front of x, the coefficient of x, which is negative 4, and c is 3. So if I say x equals negative b, and I'll rewrite that for you over here, negative b over 2a, I'm replacing b with negative 4. So I'll say x equals negative, negative 4, over 2a, which is 2 times 1. So I have positive 4 divided by 2 equals 2. But that is only the x-coordinate. x equals 2. Now I have to find the height, or the y-coordinate. So I can plug it in, or substitute, for x. I will substitute 2. So I have 2 square minus 4 times 2 plus 3. Where am I getting all this? I'm getting all this from here. Um, and you could say f of 2 equals 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 minus 8 plus 3. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Uh, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And then it says, check your result by graphing. So we're going to graph x squared minus 4x plus 3. Um, let's just turn these off. Right now. x squared minus 4x plus 3. And what do you know? We got 2, negative 1. Great. Um, so on this, uh, write the meaning of each vocabulary term. So maximum value really just depends on where the vertex is. Uh, what do I mean? So you think, oh, is the vertex at the bottom or the top? Sorry. Uh, this is the bottom. So this is a minimum or a maximum? What does bottom mean? What would you associate with, with the bottom? That is minimum. And then um, the maximum is the height at the uh, top. 
So for instance, uh, looking at this picture, this would be a minimum. And what is the lowest point? What is the lowest, lowest height? Uh, negative 1. And then if I was to, let's say this, negative 3x squared. This would be a maximum at uh, positive 4.33. Maximum means the highest, and it's the highest at this spot. Um, and really, it just depends on which way the graph opens up. And you know that um, by looking at A, right? If A is positive, then it opens up. And the vertex is a uh, minimum. But if A is negative, then A opens down, like so. And the vertex is a uh, maximum. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's. I'll, I'll walk you through uh, how to find A and B and uh, apply it one more time for some of your, uh, some of your work. <clears throat> find the axis of symmetry, which is x, you know, equals negative b over 2a. The axis of symmetry is just the x-coordinate of the vertex as a reminder. So here A is 1, B is negative 10. And C is 2, but C doesn't show up anywhere here, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. Uh, to find the x-coordinate, you would say negative, negative 10 over 2 times 1. <clears throat> so we have uh, positive 10 over 2 equals 5. And now we have our x of symmetry x equals 5, and now we have to find the vertex, and to get the y-coordinate, we substitute, so we have 5 squared minus 10 times 5 plus 2, uh, 25 minus 50 is negative 25, and then negative 23, or after you add 2, sorry. And uh, for this one, there's just an A is negative 4, and B is 16. So you could say, for the X of symmetry, uh, X equals negative 16 over 2 times negative 4. Uh, negative 16 over 2 times negative 4, uh, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, negative 16 divided by negative 8 is positive 2, and then for part B, let's find the vertex 2, and you plug in 2 for x, or you substitute, so you have negative 4 times 2 squared, plus 16 times 2, uh, 2 squared is 4, Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 plus 32. If I did that too fast, it became negative 4. 2 squared became 4. And 16 times 2 is uh, 32. So I have negative 16 plus 32, which results in positive 16. So I'll tell you those problems. Uh, moving on, moving on. Uh, graph the function. You can just go ahead and uh, use your... Um, Graphing calculator, uh, as a reminder, domain is uh, the x values and range is the y values. Um, you should have, no, not you should have. It's definitely covered in last year's curriculum. So if you have any questions about it, you can ask me or you could honestly just Google how to find domain and range. I don't want to spend too much time on that because you're mostly just using your graphing calculator. Um, tell whether the function has a minimum value or a maximum value, then find the value. So, um, you know, now we can do this without relying on a graphing calculator. And it looks like this. Uh, first of all, A, which is the first number, is negative. So what does that mean? If it's negative, which way is it opening? Up or down? I'll pause here and wait for you to answer. The answer is it opens down. So what is that? What do you associate, what word would you associate with something at the tip top? Maximum. 
So I would go ahead and write max. And the max height is the, uh, you know, the height is referring to y. So how do you do that? Well, we have to find the vertex, basically, and take the y coordinate. So you have negative b over 2a, x equals negative b over 2a, which is what we just did from 1 through 4. Um, and once you find it, you know, plug, in, plug it in, substitute it, and find y. And that will be your max value. Um, if you're looking to check your answer, I will tell you that the max value for this problem is 14.5. Um, but something else you can do is you can do the work by hand, and then you can verify using Desmos or a graphing calculator. All right, uh, that's it for this section. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I, you know, rewatch it, review it to uh, understand.